Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Audrey. Today we're going to be talking about how to dive deeper into your faith. testimony but it's too long for me to put in this video I will put it up here well I guess it's right here in case you're interested in watching that but basically I was raised a Christian you know I knew of who God was and I believed in him but I didn't seriously start growing in my faith until I was 20 that's when it all started and now I'm 22 so so I've been building my faith seriously for like a year the last seven months or so even more so i just kind of keep diving deeper into it all the time and i kind of just want to teach you guys how to do that in case it's something you're interested in doing for yourself but yeah so i grew up a christian i didn't go to church all the time I wanted to get baptized when i was younger but my pastor said i couldn't because i didn't go to church enough which take from that what you will but personally i don't think you have to go to church every sunday to have a relationship with god one of my friends posted this on instagram recently and he said it's not a religion it's a relationship and i just think that is so true personally i don't think you have to go to church every sunday to have a relationship with god the deeper you dive into your faith the more that you'll see yourself wanting to go to church just to glorify and praise him because the deeper you dive into your faith the more that you will see him work for your good in your life. And we're gonna cover all of those things today. Like I said, I got baptized. Uh, it actually came up in my snap memories like a year ago. Last August, I got baptized in the river in Colorado before I moved to Michigan. This was also while I was still engaged. And the reason I got baptized was obviously for God, but I wanted to be a good wife. And so I knew the way to do that was to put God at the center of the relationship. And I was like, you know what? I've never gotten baptized. This is something that I want to do. And so I went ahead and did it. I want to say that was kind of the turning point for me diving deeper into my faith. Like I started reading devotionals. I started reading books about God. And then basically this big life event happened for me. My engagement ended. Before this happened, like two months before this happened, I actually started going to a girls Bible study on a college campus. I was so grateful for that community during my breakup because I was seriously heartbroken. I was so grateful for my faith during this point and I was like, all right, this is the time for me to dive all in. Like, I need God now more than I ever have. He just basically saved me, bro. Like, I don't really know what else to say. Like, I'm so grateful for God and how close he's been to me in my healing journey. I guess I'll just start with like devotionals. This past year, I've read a bunch of devotionals. Maybe not a bunch, but this is my third one. It's called Life by Lisa Harper. This one's actually really interesting. I got this from one of my coworkers back in Colorado. She was a very wonderful Christian woman and I was very grateful for her counsel during my breakup. But basically a devotional is just a little page that kind of goes over a Bible verse, just basically tells a story about something that happened in their life or something that happened in the life of someone they know, and how God worked through their circumstance. It gives you the Bible verse and you can look it up in your Bible. You can also do a deeper study. If you really want to get into it, you can like Google it and look at the different translations and stuff. But I'm not at a point in my faith where I'm looking at other translations and like really trying to figure it out. I'm making this video, but I'm still growing in this faith as we speak. It's just a short little way to kind of spend time with God. And it's nice because it's not always like you're reading from Genesis to Revelation. It's kind of like, oh, today we're in Luke. And you kind of get to see a little bit of, of each book of the Bible. And it's really nice. I'm a firm believer that you don't actually have to read a devotional every day to hear from God. There have been days and weeks when I have not picked up my Bible. But I struggle with reading my Bible every day and reading a devotional and praying. Obviously, the more that you do it, the more you will hear from him. But there have been days where I just skipped it. There have been weeks where I've skipped it. And then one day I was really feeling down. And so I'd go and pick it up. And that day, the devotional and the Bible verse in the devotional was for me and it was for the situation I was going through. And so I think that God kind of does that on purpose. Like God finds you when you need him. 
I don't know. That's just something I've found. So don't feel bad if you're not reading this every day. This is a 100 day devotional. I've definitely been reading it for over 100 days. So anyway, devotionals. This one's really good. I haven't finished it yet. I'll list the devotionals that I love and have already read in the description in this video. Obviously, this is the most important thing. You're gonna need a Bible, sis. Or king, if you're watching this and you're trying to grow your faith. This is my Bible. I'm gonna link it in the description because I absolutely love it. It's basically a study Bible. It's got little lines on the side of every page so you can make little notes. I absolutely love my Bible. I'm super proud of like <laughs> all my little notes that I've taken in here and I try to make it look pretty like with cursive. And I also wanna say that I have not read the Bible front to back. If you look in the Old Testament specifically, there is so much in here that I have not read. Like I said, I'm growing in my faith every day. Like if I wanna read my Bible, I don't have to pick it up and read it front to back. You know what I mean? I can just go through, look at the parts I've highlighted, the little bookmarks I have on like some of my favorite Bible verses. There's all kinds of cute stuff that you can get for your Bible. Like I got these little bookmarks for Christmas from one of my friends and it just says Grace is here. Also the book of Job is one of my favorites. I got this bookmark in the mail like a couple months ago from one of my Bible study friends because she sent me a care package after my move. It's very intimidating, right? Because look how big this thing is. I mean, obviously there's shorter Bibles. I would not expect you to dive into your faith by reading this cover to cover. That's why the devotionals help because you kind of get a taste of every book of the Bible. My advice to you would be to get a pretty cute, or if you're a guy, a manly Bible, something that you will feel good about picking up and reading. The next thing I wanna talk about is like books. So I just read this one, Undaunted. This was a gift from the same lady who got me this. I absolutely loved it. There are just so many books that you can read about Christianity. And it kind of helps to see how God has worked in other people's lives. This one specifically talks about sex trafficking. These books are not very big. This will really help you grow your faith. And this one was so good if you're wanting to pick up a book. It's a little deep though, just be aware, but it's so good, so worth the read. The more that you indulge yourself in your faith, the more excited you'll get about like books and Bibles and devotionals and like using your little mild liners to make your Bible look pretty and your prayer journal and everything. Another thing that I would say is if you wanna start listening to a pastor, but let's just say you don't go to church, you're just like, brand new to this okay and you're like oh my gosh i just want to like get a taste for it i highly recommend michael todd just go on youtube search up michael todd preaching or bobby chandler he's one of my favorites too i also love listening to sadie robertson and maddie pruitt there are so many good preachers out there just so many people that are on fire for god and like you can feel it like when you're listening to them preach i would just start there i'm also going to be putting a lot of helpful links in the description linking devotionals that i've loved i'll link this book and a couple others i'll link my bible in case you want to be twinsies <laughs> while you're driving just listen to michael todd preach and oh my gosh you will grow your faith because you will want to be as on fire for god as he is the last thing i want to talk about is a prayer journal so this is actually something that I have just started. Like I told you, I'm newer in my faith. So I didn't start my prayer journal until May 23rd of this year. I don't write in this every day. I write in this whenever I feel inspired. It takes a lot of time to write your prayers down in here because I feel like you're thinking about it so much and you wanna write it out to where it sounds pretty. A lot of my prayers in here do sound very pretty. I've actually shared a few on TikTok. So yeah, I kind of look at this as like poetry and like my art to God. So I make it very pretty. I'm obviously not gonna show you my prayer journal because <laughs> they're my prayers. Here's one for example. I already posted this one so I'm not scared to show you. I try to pray to him every day. I obviously fail at this all the time. Like. I'll be laying in bed, scrolling on TikTok, and just fall asleep. I'm not a perfect Christian. Nobody is. And I don't have a perfect relationship with God, but it's a relationship that feels good to me. Don't feel like you have to go to church every Sunday. But if you can get involved in a group Bible study, be surrounded with people that love God, 
it's really going to help you. My Bible study was really there for me in one of my greatest times of need. I would highly recommend a Bible study to anyone trying to grow their faith. But the more time you do spend with God, the more you will see him start to work in your life. And at first, it might be things like him ending a relationship, or in my case, an engagement. It takes time to know that his plan is actually better. Looking back, I'm grateful that he did that for me. But in the moment, I was like shaking my fist at God. I was like, why did you do this? When you are hurt, if you choose to worship him anyway, he will work in your favor. And if you never stop worshiping him, everything will work out for you because his plan for your life will unfold. We think we know what's best for us, but in reality, God knows what's best for us. I know that was a lot. I feel like there's a lot more to cover though, but I think those are the basics to get you started. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I invite all my Christian friends who are watching this to encourage my subscribers in the comments. Maybe share a little bit about your testimony, how God has saved you and worked in your own life. But a relationship with God is something that I would recommend to anyone. It's something I'm so grateful I decided to dive deeper into. And I know it's something that you're not going to regret. I hope this helped you guys. I'm excited for you guys to grow your faith. And I'm excited that I got to be a part of that by you clicking on this video. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, share it with someone you know and love, or maybe someone you know that wants to grow their faith. And yeah, follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I share a little bit about my faith on there, but I also share my everyday life. I will see you later, babes.